is what I recommend if you put Hot Wheels on your wall. First of all, do not use nails in your wall, because if you take them out, you will have holes all over your wall, and your dad's put some cock in it. Ha ha ha. Um, or putty to fill in the holes, and then you had to repaint where you did all that. It's the same thing I had to do with my LED strip, because the first one I had, they broke or they ripped, so I had to take them down, and the adhesive took all the top paint off, so I painted it and had to redo it. But anyways, I recommend you use the these command hooks. They're also clear and very cheap for what they are. Basically, there's clear hooks that you can just hook. Uh, if I, I'm probably gonna get them soon and, you know, refill in all of this. But I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna do the same thing I have with the nails, but up here. That way, it'll look better, and that way my cat doesn't use her tail and tear another card again, because I was a little bummed. And I might be able to fit a third row underneath. And another tip I recommend is these plastic, like, I don't even know what you call them, these plastic tubes, I think. There's a lot of people that have made videos about them. Basically, you just get them from, like, Home Depot. I think they're like, really cheap. And you put it to the same, like, you put one up here and one down here. And you just slide the cards in. That way, the only thing you have is the adhesive from that plastic part. And between the command clips and that... I say that it's way, way better than using nails. Because nails, at the end of the day, don't even look good. Cause you can still see all the white heads on the nails. I mean, yeah, I could just paint over the nails, but that's doing too much, in my opinion. But yeah, that is my tips and recommendations of how to... Put your hot wheels up if you collect hot wheels.